And some people like, you know, terrible things, Dante. You know, like, like cheese, for example. Why would anybody like cheese? Or peanut butter. Why would anybody like peanut butter? So, you know, I get it, you know. There's an audience out there for all kinds of disgusting things. Lady Donna? Oh, Rastel. Have you been assigned to guard the main entrance to the palace? Yes, I'm filling in for my father while he's away on the in the outskirts. Uh, but the guards who are stationed here are sometimes assigned to the temple, too. Well then, you might end up keeping your promise to me sooner than I realized. I don't know if things will work out that smoothly, but I have to focus on my duties here and make my father and superiors proud. Even though you're filling in, they don't allow just anyone to guard the main entrance to the palace. I know you'll do well, Rastel. Please continue to work hard. Yes, Your Eminence. Uh, my lady, what are you doing? Actually, I'm trying to find the sheet music for Blue Harvest. If you happen to have one, could you let me borrow it? I have that sheet on me, but you can't just borrow it. Why, you can have it. Hooray. Jesus, gross. You 100% agree with the texture, the taste, the smell. Absolutely not. Get me out. <laughs> wow, thank you. Are you sure I can keep it? Uh, yes, turns out I don't have much talent when it comes to instruments. Planning to learn it for fun, but it just didn't stick. I see. Decent with the harp, but I'm better with the flute. Maybe there are instruments more suited for you. My lady, I see. I guess that is true. If there's an opportunity, I'll try some other instruments. Yes, you definitely should. Alright, I got the sheet music I was looking for, and now... Put this musical score in this jar and place an essence charm on it. All set. Now I can send this off to Adol's era. We're in your room. But I can't return. It still fascinates me. How, how things are created. I it's it's stuff like cheese where you just kinda look at the person and you think to yourself, okay. But really though, how did you come up with the idea to make this? Because it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. There's a lot of work that goes into that. Or like, like bread, for example, too. Bread is kind of a weird one for me. You know, it's like you took this crop and then you made this dough with it. And then you let the dough, like, do dough things. And then you bake it. You know, <laughs> how did you figure this out? I'm so confused. We can get some rest. Well, Crystal's here then. I still don't know what disaster will befall the palace, but I can at least pour my power into the sapling. Sapling at this spot. 
to restore the palace in this era. It grew this way in order to protect the palace. Protected from what exactly? From. You remember something? No, not clearly. Anyway, we should be able to approach the chasm from the subterranean levels of the palace. Let's hurry on, Adol. Good luck on the search. Okay. Now we've got a ton of stuff. Is that really where he wants me to meet him? Oh no, this is where I have to go. Okay. I believe this is the pot that I placed an essence charm on. My goodness, it's still here. Pretty sure paper rots after a bajillion years. On the sheet music, we should go back to the village and give it this to Austin. Trying to think of some other ones that are uh, crazy oh, as well. But I can't uh, think about them immediately off the top of my head. and dandy. They're all very happy people. See if you want this. Uh, oh. Iron Knuckle, that uh, definitely going to Dogie. I don't know who would who would like the marks series. I think I used one of these actually. Please take this. Please take this. Please come again. Make some juice. Adult. Congratulations. Iron Knuckle, you should be happy with me now. Right? No? Anatos. Okay. I guess maybe the 
Maybe the kid? The kid. Like, she likes... she likes books. That... that might be something she wants. Alright, that's all the side quests. Back to this. Hello, there's some side quests over there. I'm gonna check to see if uh, Master Kong ready to train somebody. supposed to be in here. Chest first try. I wonder what that is. Alright, cool. Deja vu right now. Getting a lot of deja vu right now. This is necessary. So, oh, but, but I guess I will. Because why not? Hey, uh, we're, we're gonna have to work hard on that one. Alright, I got the Kunamo. Ryuku. Ryuku Kunamo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Follow these for, for the butchering. 
I'm guessing you get it a lot, though. Not that that makes it uh, any better. Ryo or Ryoku is good. Alrighty. Consider it done. Does beg the question, though. A treasure chest. What's the best thing that happened to you today? I've got so many of those things now. I don't think I need any more of them. Okay, so we should probably go that way. Very, very interesting. Yeah. Okay. We would want to go this way. Made some progress with Yakuza 4 Remastered. By that, you're just killing time until getting ready to work. I feel you on that one. I gotta work in four hours. And because it's a Monday, it's going to be a very busy work day. Things should, should die down. Uh, after today. And truthfully, you know, I, I like busy work days, so I'd much rather have a busy work day than uh, a work day that is not busy. Okay. How do I believe it must be somewhere over here. Or you know what? No, actually, it's well. Would it? Be? Very, very interesting. At the top floor. This leads to a whole different area. Huh. Happen to find your channel while looking up Yee's streams. Second shift can't be annoying or can be annoying at times. Well, I I, I personally chose it. Uh, I I have the the luxury of uh, more or less being able to choose whatever schedule I want. Uh, so I figured, you know. I can stream in the mornings, like I have been, and kind of just enjoy, enjoy that. And then go to work, and then, since I work from home, you know, just watch people uh, stream. While I'm working. And it's kind of a win-win for me. I was like, okay, you know, I'll I'll take it. Uh how am I liking Yeez 8 so far? Is this my first Yeez game into the series? It is not. Uh, I have been playing the Yeez games in numerical order. And I started with Yeez Origins. Uh, I've not played Yeez 5 or 
Um, because it hasn't been translated over to the West yet. But uh, this is technically the seventh Yeez game that I've played. Um, and it's a very do-or-die situation for the Yeez franchise because I haven't been much of a fan of 3D Yeez games. Um, and my opinion on Yeez... Eight right now is... I'm not 100% sure. I've I've been trying to think of what I want this game to be for me and how this game will kind of live up to that. And I guess how best this game could execute something along those lines. And it's just kind of confusing for me, to be honest. Because I, I kind of know what I want. But I don't... I also don't know if 3D E's games are necessarily capable of it. So, I'm, I'm in kind of this weird void right now. Where it's like... If I didn't like the game, I would definitely stop playing it. Let's go. You know, I don't feel an obligation to finish it if if I wasn't enjoying myself. But I'm also in the position of, you know, like, is this game really meeting what what I feel I want from the game? I'm not 100% sure yet. What we mean is that for you personally, there's uh, things you tend to miss out because you work second shift. Oh, we do like to sleep in most mornings. I see. I'm very much a morning person, so if there are things that I can be doing in the morning, uh, that is beneficial for me. Uh, if, if I could work in the morning, which I could work in the morning if I wanted to, uh, I would definitely do that. Look at that. I still, I still don't understand how the ocean isn't dried up right now. I hope they answer that question, even though I don't think they will. Adol, is this it? Yeah, surprisingly. It seems we've already arrived on the other side of the chasm. This thing's pretty scary. I can't even see the bottom. How deep is it? Not sure. It's so dark at the bottom, it's like staring into an abyss. What's on your mind? Oh, sorry, it's nothing. I just didn't think there was a direct path to the uh, chasm through the palace. Path seems to continue down uh, the wall of the chasm. If we keep descending, we'll eventually reach the bottom. Is uh, Oceanus Oceanus's nest down there? Who knows? Guess we'll have to find out when we get there. Right. Keep moving, Adol. Um, I also don't really have the luxury of being able to to sleep in. It's never been something that I've been able to accomplish in my life. And, uh, I don't know, I just have a really hard time. Um, sleeping while the sun is out. I don't, I don't really take naps. Naps are an incredibly rare thing for me. Just, uh... Let's go. 
I don't know. Very difficult. Clean a school so you can't take your work with you. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. <laughs> I, uh, I feel like I lucked out with my job. I... I feel like I lucked out with my job and I'm... very pleased. With uh, everything involving it. My boss is cool. My job is cool. Job is understanding. My turn now. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. There is literally nothing that I can complain about for my job. And that's actually kind of a rare thing for me. Not to say that, you know, like jobs are easy things to complain about, or that I like complaining about my job, but there's there's always something that that you end up not liking about a job. Let's be careful. No. I got even stronger. Oh. I thought that was going to take me someplace. All right, so I can't go down there. Grilled it up as enjoyable experience overall, but it's not the game you felt you needed to play, if that makes sense. Hmm. I'm paralyzed right now. <laughs> Alright, I, I, I really... Take that. I got the treasure chest, so of course. Oh, I don't have my double jump equipped. Uh, I don't know if I would necessarily describe it as that yet. It's, it's, it's such a weird spot for me because it's, it's, I'm in a position of, I'm trying to see if the Yeez games are, are, like, I've played seven Yeez games now. And I've been chasing the high of Yee's origin this entire time. This far, but how much deeper can we go? We can't stop now. I've been chasing the high of Yee's origin this entire time. And no game that I have played thus far has lived up to that for me. And so, it really is becoming a situation of, okay, the 3D Yeez games are just not, not as good for me. So, do I just say, like, I'm content with the 3D Yeez games being better, like, some of them just being better? Or should I just say... You know what? None of these games are as good as the Looking games good. that come prior to it. I don't know where right, where I want to stand on that. Goliathus. I like that name. That's a cool name. Okay. Let's see, I thought I saw some fish over here. here. This was also your first Yeez game. Oh, I, I missed something. Hold on. You've been a fan of the Yeez series... Uh, for a long time, 
First game was the NES version of Yeez 3, Wanderers of Yeez, and it happened this is good. Uh, when you happened to find well, that's not it as a video rental store when you were a kid in the early 90s. Ah. Well, okay, at least I got more fish here. This was also your first Yeez game. In fact, you used to... Or that was. Right. I was going to say, like, I thought you played more Yeez games than... Right, it's not for the JRPG tour. My turn now. Yeah. Leave it to me. Ah. Not done yet. Silently writing down all these opinions. Eat this. Eat this. I I fully recognize that uh, oh, I do not have. Yeah. Popular Falcom game opinion. Because <laughs> uh, I see a, a lot of people, a lot of people, uh, you know, really like uh, these games, especially this one. A lot of people seem to greatly enjoy this one. Maybe, maybe I just put this game in a, a bad position. Uh, Kola Kentos, ancient fish of the Eternian era. All right, is there anywhere? Okay, so I can go up here to avoid the electricity. I'm paralyzed. Boss is getting destroyed. Oh my gosh, you're doing again. I can't do anything about that. Oh my gosh. Did you just get knocked over twice? No. If this boss only has one phase, alright. Get destroyed. Get absolutely destroyed. We have a soft spot for the Yeez games, but the 3D ones have mostly just not hit the spot Wanderers hit. See, that's... That... Krayson's basically in the same spot that I'm at. I want the 3D Yeez games to hit the same level of awesomeness that... Uh, Origins did for me. And it really, really sucks that I started with Origins because... If I just started in a different order, I probably would have enjoyed this series way more, but who would have thought that in starting from the first game and then going up in numerical order uh, would be such a roller coaster ride, you know? Uh, do you know what this is, uh, Donna? Yes, I think I remember Sarai mentioning this at some point. He said the royal family had essence equipment that let them breathe underwater. If we use this, then we don't have to hold our breaths uh, while we're blue in the face. Yes, I suppose. Either way, now we can explore underwater. Not much for swimming, Laxia. I've never been much of a swimmer, mainly because I never learned in the first place. Uh, so you just sink like a stone. Don't compare me to a stone. I just never really had a reason or need to swim. <laughs> well, next chance we get, I'll teach you how to swim. When I'm through, you'll be swimming so fast you'll be catching fish with your bare hands. Thanks. 
How about you, Hummel? This might be a nifty little tool for your transport business. Sign me up. <laughs> Essence equipment that allow you to breathe underwater with it. You can explore underwater areas. Ooh, Ray. All righty. Guess we don't need this. I know we can breathe underwater, but it still makes me nervous. Who needs the ability to swim when you can just breathe underwater? Explore underwater. Let's go at all. Okay, your job, uh, your job is good. It's pretty much salaried with a chance of OT. You get good benefits and pension. Also, unless you do something extremely stupid, the chances of getting laid off are less than 1%. Okay, okay. I, I guess if there was one negative thing, which is not necessarily a negative thing for me, it's that the health insurance and all that other stuff is super expensive. Uh, but, you know, I mean, unless the health insurance was like $5 a month, or free, I probably wouldn't have gotten it anyways. Or, you know, somewhere in that range. It'll super cheap instead of, what is it like, uh, $45 or $90 per paycheck? You know, something ridiculous like that. Oh, is this. These plants explode when separated from the stem. The spores they release stick to your clothes. Spores stick on contact when the spores detach. Throw them. Explosion can damage enemies. If you're too close to the explosion, you will take damage too. Like they respond. Alright, I was brains off from that. That's all down to personal preference. You mainly keep them separated based on the combat system. Uh, for example, when it comes to uh, bump combat, it's Ease 4, Dawn of Ease, for the Napishtim engine. It would say the Oath of Felgana with a party system. Uh, it's currently Ease 9. I, I have little doubts that Ease 9 Let's go. will improve upon the system because you know now I'm not I'm not in a position of of a uh, backwards remix and things like that whereas before you know I had remakes being put out and new games being put out while wow, old games were still normal. Just uh, super, super weird. You don't re regret any Yeez game you have played so far, but you're also not much of a fan of the flashy combat as you thought you would be. Hmm. 
I would not say. Allow me. Leave it to me. It's down. Uh, I I think there's there's a position that I'm in where I don't find myself regretting playing very many games. Uh, especially games that a lot of people like. Because it, I, I like having an informed opinion on stuff. And, uh, you know, I, I have some some credibility if, if I played the game myself. You know, kind of like um, Riot Games put out a an animated series called Arcane on Netflix right now. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of salty about uh, the whole thing, but I can't necessarily say that, you know, I dislike it because I haven't seen a single episode of it. Uh, so, you know, I, I can't genuinely have an informed opinion about whether I like it or not. But I don't want to like it. Switch. Allow me. <laughs> uh, so, um, in some of these cases where I'm playing, you know, like older games or games that people really, really like or something like that, I find it uh, very beneficial for me. Uh, you know, just just play it and see what happens. Uh, most of the time, I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. Uh, like Xenogears, for example. Oh, pleasantly surprised by that game. And I'm sure there will be many, many more. I really don't want to fight any of those guys. Okay, let's just goof it all up. Alright, let's do this. Okay, the stun lock. The delay on that. I, I, I can't, can't get up. It's not what I wanted to do, but we're doing it. Considering what you've played, you consider this the best party system based on Ease Balgana with Edo Solo games. Uh, we'll see when you get to Ease 9 if your opinion will change. Technically, Origin was the ninth game to be made. It was the final game made in the Napishtim engine, which started with E6. Um, I, I, I do recognize that. Uh, it was, but I, I was playing them in like numbered order and then, you know, like chronological order. And what I read was that Origin was a prequel. So I was like, oh, well then I'll play Origin first, because it's a prequel, and we see how that worked out for me. Uh, I think I see a way to get over there. These, these things right here, like, I, I really don't know what what they really want from me on those. Alright, Terra Nigma. I, I have a feeling that I won't be able to play that game. I just have a very big feeling. 
If I were to go onto eBay right now and be like, let me just look at how much Terra Nigma costs. Probably gonna be one pricey game. I was gonna say, I'm almost gonna level up. So, fighting all of this will be worth. There's a treasure chest up there. Gonna fully figure out what I'm dealing with here. Health insurance, you have Blue Cross Blue Shield. It's just $14 per day. That, that's a lot of money. For me, anyway. Uh, I feel like I'm going backwards here. The way I just came from. Seems, uh... Oh, per pay. Oh. Reading is hard. Reading is hard. Uh, in that case, you know, me being uh, a two paycheck per month employee. $28 for some health insurance and stuff like that. That seems pretty good. $28 a month? You know, I'll take that. Look, Adol. I see a structure. It must be the beast of the royal palace. It must be near the bottom of the sea. The only remakes that Falcom has done so far was the Oath and Felgana Yeast 3 remake and Salsetta. He's for me. I have, uh, I've, I've played them all. Well, I, I haven't played any of the originals, I guess. Okay, you're just annoying. Okay, I don't know the timer. Yeah, I'm gonna figure out how to go up there. I think the best way you described this game was you enjoyed the Dana solo sections more than the party parts. those achievements, you know. Even though I didn't I didn't see that there would be any more. I think I already got it. Ooh, I don't think I've gotten any of those yet. I'll take that. Honestly the League Netflix show is good. Yeah, it's, it's what I keep hearing. I keep hearing it's the, the most amazing thing ever. And me being a very salty person about anything League of Legends related, 
You know, I just I just want to keep my cynicism, you know. <laughs> Eat this. We'll explore that later. You're not done yet. Let's go. I'd rather not fight oh, these yeah, guys. Definitely rather not fight this guy. Chronological order isn't the same as numbered order. Well, right, but I I, I played them in numbered order, um, with the exception of Yi's Origin, which was supposed to be a prequel to Yi's One, and I didn't know at the time that you know all the games were in you know, completely different engines and all that other good stuff. Alright, this is going to where I need to go. Which is not where I want to go. Uh, so that that's why I played them in, in the order that I did. Which, you know, in hindsight, was a very poor decision. For me, anyway. Probably not you know, that bad of a decision for, for other people. So that was that door. Leads up to treasure chest. Okay. To go back to the water. Some uh, some fish right here. Leave it to me. I'd like to Let's fish. Yeah, All right. My turn now. Guess we're not fishing. Definitely block that. Over here. Leave it to me. My turn now. I'm yeah. Alright, am I safe? Am I safe now? Alright. My fish in peace? I hope I catch a big one. I have a feeling you're lagging behind the conver stream conversation? Nah, I'm I'm just really slow at reading. Alright. That's all. <laughs> uh, She's a mute. Your messages are are like 10 minutes, Here. 10 minutes behind of where I'm at. Or I'm reading messages from 10 minutes ago, rather. Oh, man. I hope I catch a big one. I'm, I'm a slow reader. Gotta fight. Also, Looking some of these, these enemies are well, that's not really bad. rough. All right. Uh, one right here. Uh, the originals are an interesting experience. For the fourth game in the series, Falcom outsourced it to separate companies. Uh, Gun was Taito, who made the SNES. Oh yeah, okay. I I um I read up a little bit on those because I recall seeing that there were two two games for that. I wasn't sure you know how I was going to approach all of that. I remember I think I remember hearing some people talk about that in I wanna say it was either Ryoshin stream or maybe Mr. JRPG, but it, I think it was Ryoshin because it was a long time ago and 
and who else was playing Yee's games and bashing their heads against bosses on the hardest difficulty than in Ocean? What is this place? It's really spacious. From the look of it, this might be the bottom of the chasm. But we didn't see the Okeanus' nest as we made our way. Okeanus's. Interesting. Wait! What is it, little lady? Something funny about all this debris? Look at this! Really? This was attached to the ship's hull. Must have wound up here after the Oceanus uh, pulled it under. Then the creature must be nearby. Is that how all this debris got here? Man, Captain Barbaros loved this ship, and that thing tore it to pieces. Yes. We'll avenge the Lombardia, and then we'll all escape this island together. Yes, definitely. That's right, I hope the captain's watching over us. All that aside, when the uh, when will the Oceanus return here? Uh, if it's not here, it must be roaming the sea somewhere. Uh, that's very likely. We have no way of knowing when it might return. And even with this essence equipment, being underwater too long is still exhausting. What should we do? Wait. I mean, it's a boss arena. The boss is going to show up. I think we've learned enough about its nest. We should resurface instead of waiting here. Yes, there might be new information back at the village. You can always warp back here. Why bother asking my opinion if you're not going to even acknowledge that my opinion could be what we want to do? Look, Adol. Okay, At the Oceanus. Uh, darn monsters swimming without a care in the world. We can't defeat it unless it returns to its nest. What should we do? Hey, Dogi, father. We came to check your progress. Any new developments? They don't inform them that they found the Oceanus' nest. We don't actually know that, though. It's just an area where the plaque is. The plaque could have drifted there, for all we know. Found the nest already, huh? That's good to hear. Looks like we got here just in time, Thanatos. Indeed. What are you talking about? Actually, Dogi and I have been warping around the northern region. I thought there was only one ring. And... They were looking into replicating the ring, but uh, I don't remember any conversation about that. Granted, I've been skipping over a lot of conversation. Uh, we found some documents in the capital with more information about the Oceanus. Uh, they explain how people used to hunt it back in the day. Oh, really? How did you find that information? Explorer's intuition. Ah, ah, one of those hand wave. I found it. Now listen to me. Uh, so how do we hunt it? Not actually that difficult. Trapping it in its own nest was actually a good idea. The Oceanus has m uh, more of an advantage in open waters. However, the Eternians would split into two teams to hunt them. Two teams? Oh no. Oh no. That's right, the first team would drive the Oceanus back to its nest and the second team would wait for it at its nest and finish it off. Oh, that's similar to a fishing technique I've used before. That's a sound strategy, but if we split into two teams... We don't have enough people. It's a horrible idea. You're right. Driving the Oceanus back to its nest would take a lot of people. Hey, aren't you guys forgetting something? Huh? 
Just hear us out. We'd like you to be the team that waits for the Oceanus at its nest. And the team responsible for driving it back to its nest? Well, you're looking at them. You mean the two of you? Uh, that would be an impossible task for Doge and me alone. Which is why everyone at Castaway Village will help us drive back the Oceanus. You're saying everyone in the village is going to head to the northern region. Uh, now that we can warp, it's possible to relocate everyone. Are you sure that's wise? What about the village? It gets attacked while everyone is away, our ship gets destroyed. Actually, it looks like the beasts near the village have settled down. Oh, how convenient. Uh, so we can devote our experience with raids and hunts to taking down the Oceanus. Fight against Oceanus is a watershed moment for us castaways. But please, let us help you this one time. What do you say? I, I need to know how this is possible. First of all. But, you know, if you, you guys want to risk your lives, you know, I guess I guess it's fine. The boat is ready, right? You know, so just in case you all die. Let me think about it. You need the whole village's help to take down the Oceanus. Think about this carefully, Adel. Castaways should put up a united front against the Oceanus. Let me think about this. Okay. I, I hate these situations. It's like, don't give me a choice if you're not going to let me make a choice. Uh, that's what I like to hear. Okay, time to strike while the iron's hot. We better start preparing. See, I thought they were going to split our party into two um, teams, which honestly makes a lot more sense. But it also doesn't make much sense because how are we supposed to fight the Oceanus on open water? That's the part that I'm most curious about. Preparations to hunt the Oceanus had begun, warping themselves and their weaponry, the castaways stationed themselves at the chasm. Spirits were high as the castaways readied themselves to face the Oceanus, uh, the beast that had sunk the Lombardia. The fateful hour approaches. Alright, everything's ready to go. All we need to all we gotta do is get things started. Uh, I don't need to remind you, but double check your equipment for me anyway, Adel. Once you're all set, let me know. Make sure you talk to everyone before we start. And we've got a side quest? That's 77%. Oh, I... Oh, it must be a... Ah. You're a happy person. Well, I'm going to ignore your happiness. You're welcome. Okay. Found a new recipe. What do you need? Okay, this is crazy. Please take this. Take a couple more of those. Aura grass. This is a very dangerous thing to give people. Please take care. See, there's some stuff that I'm missing. Chat as well. well again. I probably take a look at. Um, you don't know about the most amazing thing ever, but you would say a solid seven. But you're not blown away, just happily surprised. It's an actual show and not an ad for League. Okay. That's, you know what, that that's fair. I've just, like, every single Reddit thread that I've seen is, ah, oh, this is the most amazing thing ever, and I'm just like, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Are you done already? Um... 
Equip. Random status effect. I thought it might be good because if some if some boss was immune to a certain status effect, then I would equip that and I would always get the status effect that they would be weak against, but it doesn't seem like that's how things are working out for me. By the way, I'm curious what you thought of the bump combat system when you played Yeez 1 and 2. So, how can I help you today? Yeez 1 and 2 was a very interesting Leave it to me. thing for me. Because it's complete. I liked... I, it, the the weird thing is I went from Yeez All right, finished. Origins to Yeez 1. And I was looking at some reviews of Yeez 1 before I had, um, uh, before I had, whatchamacallit, um, played it. And I saw that it was going to be like this, this weird run into enemies to deal damage to them type of system. And I thought that was really, really weird. And some of the reviews of the game were not not really favorable for that system so I was very concerned going into that um, and I think like the first hour or so I was kind of in that mind state of you know this this is not going to be a a good game to play but the more I played it the str more strangely I was interested I guess <laughs> And uh, it didn't take very long for me to start saying, like, this was actually quite good. I actually rank these 1 and 2 um, quite highly amongst the Yeez games for me. Um, they're, they're very unique uh, in, in my eyes, and it's, uh, it's very cool. Alright, I don't think I saved it marked, so I need to do that. <laughs> 